Every composite number has only one prime factorization, but sometimes finding that prime factorization can be tricky. This will help. Keep watching. Welcome to Math Bites. I'm Allison, and today we're talking about the prime factor test. So let's jump right into it. To test for prime factors of a number n, you only need to search for prime factors p of n where p squared is less than or equal to n. Got it? Makes perfect sense, right? Here's how you're going to use it. You'll have a number n, and you're trying to figure out, is n prime or composite? So find the largest prime number p such that p squared is less than or equal to n then you only need to check if the prime numbers that are less than or equal to p are factors of your number n. You don't have to check any other prime numbers. So let's do an example and see how this works. Okay, let's take a look at this. Is 127 prime or composite? So in this case, our number n is equal to 127. And we're looking for a prime number p such that p squared is less than or equal to n, in this case 127. So our first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. All right, so what's 13 squared? 13 squared is 169. Now that's greater than 127, so I don't have to go that high. What's 11 squared? 11 squared is 121. That's less than or equal to 127. So the only prime numbers I have to check are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Those are the only possible prime factors of 127. Now, 127 is not evenly divisible by 2, 3, 5, 7, or 11. If you don't believe me, check it out on a calculator. So since none of those numbers are factors of 127, that means we can conclude that 127 is a prime number. Okay, let's do another one. Is 469 prime or composite? So in this case, our number n is equal to 469. And I'm looking for the largest prime number p I can find such that p squared is less than or equal to 469. So again, my first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, etc. So let's start with 23. 23 squared is 529. Now that's larger than my number, so I don't have to go that high. So we go down to the prime number next to it. What is 19 squared? That is 361. Now that's less than or equal to my number, 469. That means that I only have to check the prime numbers that are less than or equal to 19 to see if they're factors of 469. So that means that we're checking 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now 469 is not evenly divisible by 2 because it's not an even number. It's not evenly divisible by 3 or 5. What about 7? If I divide 469 by 7, I get 67. Therefore, we did find a prime factor of 469, so 469 is a composite number. If you'd like to take this a little further, Use the theorem again to check if 67 is a prime or composite number, and then you can find the prime factorization of 469. The prime factor test theorem is very handy, so it's good if you can get used to using it. Now remember, you're always looking for the largest prime number such that p squared is less than or equal to n. It has to be the biggest one you can find. And then you know you only have to check the prime numbers that are less than or equal to it. That's it for this episode of Math Bites. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if there's something you'd like to ask us, just send us an email. We're at contactmathbites at gmail.com, and we'll see you next time.